If you love this content, if you want more of it, if you want to see me interviewing some really great people in person, then make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And also, there's going to be a link right down here. Started a Kickstarter for this new season so we can make sure that we're bringing you the best content. So go do that right now and let's get started with the show. Hey everyone, it's Joseph Shepard. And your girl, Miss Laganja Estranja, and we're back. <gasps> Welcome to Queening Out. Ooh. We did it good. We First did it good. Take. First time. It's like no time has passed. No time has passed, but it actually has. It's been a year. A whole year, Mary. Oh my God. I, I would say my whiskers got longer, but my hair got longer. Your hair did get longer. And my whiskers disappeared, so I love it. <laughs> <laughs> How, how has everything been with you? Well, as I always say, I've been sickening mama. Mm -hmm. She has been traveling, she's been twerking, she's been working. Things are very good at the house of Ganja. How about yourself? Good. Everything's been pretty great. I mean, we had a little DragCon snafu. That's which... right. DragCon tried the dolls. DragCon did try. <laughs> um, I had a booth, which I know that a lot of people may or may not know. And that booth got taken away because they're not allowing... Uh, they didn't allow a live recording on the floor. Womp, 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 womp. <laughs> yeah, that's a shame, you know? It's free promotion, yeah. and I feel like so many people watched your videos, mm -hmm. and that's the reason they came to DragCon. Yeah. I mean, I saw that in your comments when you posted on your community tab. Oh, my community tab. Which we're going to be posting these on our YouTubes as yes. well, right? So we're back in YouTube land together. I'm so excited. Me I too. can't wait to be reviewing the All Stars Season 8. Eight. Can't believe it. Did you see RuPaul at DragCon not knowing what season it was? Um, I literally saw her for two seconds. I think this year <laughs> she came, she cut the ribbon, and she and hit she it. Ran. I don't think she did a DJ set like normal. She probably did it. Yeah. She was like, I'm done. She it was, was in and out, baby. In and out. She was standing there, and she was like, all right, guys, just going to give you the heads up that today we have a premiere of... And she like looked to the queens <laughs> around her and was like, I'll stop. Stars I mean, in fairness, I can relate. There is a lot of seasons and there's a lot of franchises. So you know, that's something I realized yesterday at DragCon that I really don't know a lot of the newer queens from mm. these franchises. There's so many now, which so many. is a great thing because I love to see it go global. But also I feel like it sort of oversaturates the market. And yeah. so it makes it hard for people to relate to the queens when there are so many. So true. Yeah. And I also feel like as the seasons are progressing, we kind of are losing a little bit of who these people's character is. Sure. Like, you know, kind of like how they cut those episodes down for season 15 and it was like a one Ooh, hour we're episode. Getting, we're getting shady already. Now, I have to admit, I know I'm going to get hate for this, but I actually loved the real, what was it? Real Friends? Real Housewives? Real Friends of WeHo? Of WeHo. Real Friends of WeHo. Oh. I actually loved it. I did. I, I will say I watched it. I love trash. You know, trash I love trash TV. Love is blind. I never miss an episode. And it, it gave me what I needed. Now, I will be honest, I do know a lot of those guys. Of course, they're my friends. So I wanted to champion them. Yes. And it, it kind of made me sad to see how the community reacted. I hear what they're saying. Of course, we want more diversity. We want to see people who maybe aren't as necessarily as successful. Mm -hmm. But also, I feel like as a community, when we sort of hate on these shows... Ooh, hello, vocal crack. When we hate <laughs> on these shows, we lose the chance to really tell queer stories. Yeah. And I know we all want different queer stories, not movies just like bros that are based on white male gay yeah. cis figures. But the the way that we get that diversity is, is by allowing these other things to be successful. So mm -hmm. I feel like even if you don't like it, supporting it from afar or just not hating yeah, on it not publicly, hating everyone, yeah. pu public. Wow, what I have not smoked today? this morning, oh. so I think that's why I'm a little <laughs> bit off. Um, but, you know, I think not hating on it publicly could help us reach our end goal, right? Mm -hmm. Which is getting more diverse stories. Like I, for instance, loved the movie that was about um, what's the gay area where everyone caught COVID outside of New York. Fire Island. Fire Island. Did yeah, you yeah, see yeah. that movie? Yes, I did see that it movie. Was it was amazing and it was so diverse. And it's like, I know that's what the community wants. Mm -hmm. But I think in order for us to get those, we have to support the queer projects that are yeah, out there 100. and not hate on them so hardcore. And plus, ultimately, for me, I don't need Drag Race to be that long. Girl, it's long. <laughs> These All Stars long. episodes, especially since we got two in a row. Two in a row. It was a long, and untucked, long time. Which and you didn't watch. I didn't watch. You which know I me. have your, I have the notes okay. in here like usual. Okay, I love it. I love it. Now, Untucked is on Paramount Plus this year? Yes. Okay, so yes. I will be able to watch it. Yeah. So I want to get into the tea because... I know Monica had a really special moment in Untucked, which obviously I didn't see. Yeah. So I do plan to watch Untucked this year, y'all. So give me a break on this first episode. I just got back from DragCon, but 
yeah, I just think my my little soapbox moment is let's just support queer art even if we don't like it so that we can get the other queer art that we want in the end. Exactly. We have to start somewhere. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, it is what it is. We got our drag race back. It's fully extended it's fully and uncut. Extended. So I'm excited to break down this season of All Stars Ooh, with you. And ready? queen out. Hello. Queen out. <laughs> Are you ready to get into these entrance looks? Mama, there were so many looks this first so episode. So many. I live. But you know what we're going to do? What? A little wear it or tear it quickie Ooh, for these quickie. entrance looks. Okay, I love Ooh. a quickie. And we now have this lovely screen behind us where we can just view these images. Mama, let me upgrade you like Miss Beyonce said. Yeah. We had to bring you a season two bigger and better than ever. Bigger and better, and that's what we do. I love it. So we'll be here <laughs> when we record in person, and if yes. we don't record in person, we'll be Zooming like we did last year. That's right, but I think we're gonna get, at least get to record these first couple of episodes in person before I... Take to the world. Wow, she really can't talk today. Before I <laughs> take to the road with work, the world again, which will be starting in June. So Ooh. I'm excited for us to be back together again in person. Same. Yes. So let's get into okay. Miss Heidi in Closet. Yes, I loved it. It was a I, wear it. It was a total wear it for yeah. me. I love the aspect of her having the big bag in front with the lips. So good. Iconic. Smart there. Yeah, branding. She has branding. clearly branded herself. She brought that to the forefront. The body was snatched. The mug mm -hmm. was flawless. I loved it. I loved it. Yeah. Wear it. Wear it. Next up, we had Miss Kasha Davis coming in in her Miss Kasha Davis attire. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's not my favorite look, but it's still a wear it for me. I Same. think she looks good. I think she's delivering her brand. You know, I think the one critique for me is the necklace, mm -hmm. which is funny because I literally used to sell a necklace just like this that had a joint hanging out of it. <laughs> so I'm like, why are you critiquing a necklace that you literally sold on your website? But it just feels <laughs> a little like... Santi Alley vibes. Like, it doesn't okay. necessarily give me, like, I think pearls would have been more beautiful Ooh. and more classic with this look. Yes. But the hair is perfect. I love the shoe with the little lucite heel. I love the texture of the sequin. So it's a wear it for me. It's a wear it for me as well. I also think that this would be really great in a bodysuit, like for me, Ooh. personally. Oh, for you. Yeah, for okay. me, I was have to think about it. Um, <laughs> but I'm very glad to have Miss Kasha Davis back on the screen. Me too. Like, all of these all stars in this season. I am excited to see. Me too. Like and I, I love one. that she's bringing her whole message of kindness to the forefront. I think that that is something she's been known for. Yeah. And I personally can relate to that. So I'm happy to see her back. Same. And also we do have to talk about the fact that she's sober. Yes. That is crazy. Her catch line, for those who may not know, is it's five o'clock somewhere. Yes. Right? Isn't that? A, five o'clock somewhere, yeah. It's always five o'clock somewhere? It's always five o'clock somewhere. Yeah. Yes. So for her to be sober now, I'm like, wow, that's so impressive. As someone who has also struggled with sobriety off and on, I think, again, that's another really exciting message to have brought up on the show. Well, see, I also was looking in an Untucked because they have their House of Love cocktails. And I okay. was like, is she getting the mocktail? Yeah, yeah. Is Miss Kasha Davis getting the mocktail? Because you know I'm getting the uh, <laughs> tangerine margarita. That's the one that I like. Woo, baby, she will get you lit. It will get you lit in two seconds. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> That's what happened last DragCon. Oh, me too. I was like, it me was a too. surprise. I... It was a shock. <laughs> Who knew? But I, I heard that they make a mocktail version. Yeah. So I love that. Inclusivity in the cocktails. Yes. And next up, we have Miss Nisha Lopez. No, I was not a fan of this look. Yeah. It was a tear it for me, but I have heard a lot of things about Nasha and that she was actually put on last minute. Ah. Um, so I don't know how true that rings, but I what I was told is that she was brought in last minute and a lot of her outfits were not even finished or completed. Oof. And so she was having to do them in the workroom and try to Make get it things work. done. Yes. Tim Gunn style. Yes. Yeah. So I mean, I feel like if I'm not going to tear Tasha, D oh my God, <laughs> I should have smoked. <laughs> I feel like if I'm not going to tear Kasha Davis's, then I can't tear this one either. Because again, while it is simple and it's not my favorite, I do think it looks good. Mm -hmm. I do think it's sort of a, a very um, classic play on a you know jumpsuit for prison. I mean, yes, does it leave me wanting more? But... Mm -hmm. It's giving good proportions. It's giving an iconic look. So it's like a way for me. It's not a full wear and it's like a way. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, it was a tear for me. And okay. that's why we're going to go Own bam it. to Miss Kahana Montrese. Yes. Okay. She delivered. She delivered. She came she back. She is delivering. She is delivering. She's been delivered. She 
looks great. She looks insane. The work that she had done, whoever her doctor is, I please want tell it. me. Yes. I already reached out to her before the show because I saw her in the Vegas Live and I was like, baby, whoever did the body, I need. Her body is flawless, but what makes it even more flawless is her skin. Yes. It's so perfect. There's not a single pore, a single cellulite. Girl, insane. Insane. This is a total tear it. She's representing you Vegas. Mean to wear it? Oh, sorry. <laughs> God. <laughs> Welcome back. Yes, it's a total wear it. She killed it. I mean, the ostrich feathers, the the shape, the volume, the way she entered and called everyone clowns. I loved it. I absolutely loved it, too. A total wear it for me. I love that she's also tapping into this side of this Vegas, you know, showgirl yeah. culture and everything that she has worn. I have loved. So yeah, I cannot too. wait to see what else she's cooking. Oh, yeah. Up. The package is correct. Miss Candy Muse. Okay, again, another simple look. Yes. But I don't hate it. I think all of these are probably gonna be where it's for me because yeah. at this point, the caliber of drag is on another level. So it's it's hard to like hate on it when these girls really know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. This is a great body shape for her. I love that she's giving us this great leg, a classic orange pump. I'm a huge fan of that. I love that the hair is up yes. off her shoulders, giving clavicle. So yeah, it's a wear it for me. I think she looks good. Same. And I love this color. Like the little, like, it looks a little bit like iridescent-esque. Yeah, kinda. it has that like sunset little... vibe, yes. right? The pinks and the orange. It's got a nice shift to it. Mm -hmm. Love it. Wow. Next up, Miss Darian Lake. Okay, another simple look. Yes. So not my favorite, but when you when they showed her flashback to my season, season six, to where she is now, I mean, come on. The body alone yes. is a total wear it. She looks in incredible like the body is insane the face is sitting she looks beautiful i saw her in person yesterday and i was just like girl i'm so proud of you and happy for you you know yeah. you can tell she she feels good yeah and you can totally see that like the confidence is there right and she's more confident in herself i also love once again the aspect of a queen from an earlier season coming back. Not oh. calling season six an earlier season, girl. Shots fired. We are now almost on <laughs> <with> season 16. <laughs> Shh. Shh. I'm not an older season. <laughs> I'm just a more established season. But we do have to admit, this is a dress from Santiali. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Like, it's not the most. I would tear it. Yeah, probably. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll tear it. But I'm going to wear her because I love her and yes. she looks good. She, and she looks, looks good. great. <laughs> not wear her. Now I'm giving Silence of the Lambs tees. Oh my God. <laughs> Miss Monica Beverly Hills comes in as I took this as like a troop, like yeah. Beverly Hills yeah. troop, like troop Beverly Hills. Yeah. yeah. Troop Beverly Monica. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got it. Right. I just got it as I said it. So don't yeah, think okay, I'm okay, smart. Okay. Don't think I, I'm I smart. Like, I just, as I said it, I was like, oh, that's what it was. <laughs> yeah, you know, another look for me, I, not my favorite. I probably would tear it again because it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not loving it, but I love her. I love mm -hmm. her style. I love her poise. I love the idea of the look. I mm -hmm. think I would have preferred, I mean, she is giving trans colors, yes. but I think I probably would have preferred if it was more traditional to the movie okay. in the khaki and the green. Mm -hmm. I think that would have been more signature and popped more. Like on our screen right now, it's sort of washing out. It's kind yeah. of all blending together. Um, but I, I do like the idea and the concept behind it. I agree with you there. I also love the color palette. It's very like, ah, uh, to me. Oh, very, ah, like, uh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and I think she looks great. I was very excited to see her. Yeah, me too. I'm very excited. Not to I mean, see very her for not 60 excited minutes. to see. Yeah. Yeah. For 60 minutes. So, I mean, for me, I would wear that. You would. Okay. I would, you know, for Halloween, be a little cute little troop boy and cute little trans troop boy. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Miss James Mansfield comes out in her. Very um, expected James Mansfield. <laughs> now attire. I feel like my opinions are changing because now I'm like, you know what? After Kahana, I'm like, all of these are tarots in comparison because she mm. like brought such a full a fierce big, yes. look. Again, I think she looks great. It is a classic version of what she gives us. So it's very on brand, which I think is super important. But it is leaving me wanting a little bit more. Like oh, yeah. I wish maybe the trim had been sequin or the belt Ooh. had been polka dot. Or maybe again, we had some pearls or... You know, the hat had some trim dripping off of it. Like, I just feel like it could have been, been taken to the next yeah. level. But it is a beautiful look. I mean, again, body snatch, mug is perfect, hair is flawless. I just think, yeah, it's leaving me wanting more and not necessarily in the best in way. The, yes. Yeah. Well, when they showed her previous, when she was um, on her original season, I 
was like, oh my gosh, the glow up. Yeah. I, I didn't consider James Mansfield, like looking back on it, I was like, okay, the makeup wasn't there, the body wasn't was there. Was it not? No, it oh, was. Oh, wow. Well, she so, went home first, right? Yeah, she went home first. So it's hard for me to remember any of the girls who went home first, no tea, except for, of course, Magnolia <laughs> Crawford, because she's from my season and the name and all of that. Um, and she had that very interesting nose, which- Have you like, talked to her at all? No, I think she quit drag. Yeah, she did. Yeah, yeah. She was like, bye. Yeah, she said, mm -hmm, I'll see you over with Poppy. <laughs> Poppy. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday, her drag con booth, girl, I died. She did nothing. She had a little folding table and a little poster that she wrote on it. I'm trying to quit drag. Convince me not to. And just sat there in her chair. Stop. <laughs> it was pretty iconically bad pretty to good. me. I loved it. Love it. <laughs> Miss Alexis Michelle. Now, let me just tell you, she walked out and I said, that's Alexis Michelle? She looked good. She looks so good. It's a wear good. it. It's a wear so it. Wear she it. looks so correct, so fashion forward. The body, the body, the body, the body, the whole episode, I was just like, wow. Yes. She's killing the body. She's killing the body. She's also killing her makeup. Like, yeah, the makeup and hair game is correct. Uh, yeah, she looks so good. I would totally wear that outfit. Same. Totally. Yeah. Miss Jessica Wilde. You know, it's a little too quinceanera for me. <laughs> so I, I'm going to have to say tear it because I definitely wouldn't wear it. But she does look good. She's giving us drag. She's giving us over the top. So for that aspect, I do appreciate it. But yeah. I, do, I, I wouldn't wear that look. I don't think. No, I, I wouldn't wear it either. It's a tear it for me. I did get that she was trying to do the golden flowers, like the golden child. I don't remember this reference she keeps making about the golden child. No, she was, it was like, I'm, it was like, a, I think it was like a skit or something. She was like, really? Jessica. I just remember, Coo -coo -doo -doo -doo. that's like my main <laughs> thing burned in my head. I don't remember this golden child reference. You know, it's also giving me sort of like Belle from Beauty and the Beast mm -hmm. goes to like the country fair. So it's like an interesting crossover. I can I see know. that. I don't know. I just, I did, I didn't really super relate to it, but I do think she looks very well put oh, together she and she looks great. like an all-star and yeah. I'm so happy she's back. For sure. This came off like a very like, you remember, what was it, All Stars, was it three when they did the gold Girl, promo? Girl, you know up? I don't remember. <laughs> I'm trying. Um, I think it was All Stars 3. They did the gold promo looks. And it was okay. like Katie Davenport and Milk and Chi Chi. And this is a oh, very Oh, wait, gold I actually look. do because Milk had the bodybuilder look. Yes. Rue had the sickening bodysuit. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this it's is all coming me... back to me. <laughs> it's giving me the promo of that. Okay. <laughs> Next up, we had Jimbo. <laughs> uh, look, I know everyone loves this. It is a tarot for me personally. I mean, I think she looks amazing. It's iconic. It's yeah. very memorable, especially the toes. I don't know if you clocked the toes, but they're like long acrylics on her toes with these tevias. Um, yeah, it's just it's it's giving me trash. It's giving me very like her brand. And mm -hmm. I love that for her. Yeah. I just personally like. No, I don't think I would rock that for my entrance look. Can you imagine wearing that, though, and how uh, hot? Sweaty boots. Jimbo must love being sweaty because he was also in that white thing with the belly, the little alien yeah. that he did. Oh. I just loved her promo look for the season so much. So the pink much. look was so incredible. So this was like a little underwhelming to me. Yes. But again, it's like, who was that queen that walked in in flip-flops? Willow. Yes. Remember when Willow did that sort of like mm -hmm. 90s Y2K vibe? So this is kind of giving me that. It, I think it really reaches her fan base. I think people who are her number one fans would super relate to this. Mm -hmm. um, but for me, like I said, I was just like, meh. Yeah. A little okay for me. Later in the episode, though. Woo. Bitch. I'll wait till we get there. Yes. But yeah, but she's was, bringing looks. She's bringing looks. But yeah, I would not wear this. Even ever. if you had the bodysuit? <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like my body would be sweating. I get yeah, yeah. hot too fast. Yeah, totally. Mm -mm. Totally. And last up, we have Miss Lala Ree. You know, it's interesting. I don't love it in this picture, but I did love it on in person, like on the film. Mm. You, uh, you didn't like uh, it? It was a no for you? It was a no for me. It was a tear it. Because, yeah, it was a tear it. I do believe that there were a few girls this season who probably lost more weight after some of their outfits were already made. Sure. And so this was like, one. You think it's ill-fitting? Yes. Okay. I, I think for me, maybe it's like a tear it from tits down, but I really love this accentuated mm -hmm. neckline. I loved the glasses. I mean, yeah. No, I, I still like it. I stand by my, my wear it. I like it. Stand by your wear it. I think I could wear it and I would rock it. 
<laughs> so we had our lovely entrance looks there. So let me ask you, Miss Laganja. Okay. If you were to come back for an Oh, I knew this was coming. You know this is always and coming. And I was trying to think, right? Because like I love how in the package they always show the look you had before. Mm -hmm. So like I feel like I would want to be inspired by my look, which was sort of a tartan look. It was plaid. I had this gorgeous like uh, headpiece with these big giant feathers. I had my classic bob. So I definitely think I would want something that would reference that. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking maybe like a gown version Ooh. because also it's like, I always think about like, what would I do to enter? And it's like, I don't know that I could top my all-star six performance entrance where I came from the ceiling. Like I literally at this point, I'm like, well, I'd have to be flown in on a helicopter, yeah. which like isn't possible. So I feel like if I came in in a gown, then it would sort of give me an excuse for not to have to do some crazy move. And then you know me, I would rip the gown off and do a crazy and, move. Yes. So um, I think I would do like a gown version, similar pattern. I think I would have the whole pattern bedazzled, like fully rhinestone. Mm. So like all the plaid would be fully like rhinestone and colored. I think I would do my signature bob, but I would do like a crazy version of it. So it would be like super huge and oversized. Yes. And I think again, like I would definitely do a feather head piece, but I would just do more, you know, like I would just kind of take what I did and make it even more exaggerated. Because, yeah, I loved my entrance look. I still stand by it. I think yeah. it's a great look. It's one of the few pieces from Drag Race that I never sold that I've kept. And, um, yeah, it's a beautiful a beautiful look then. And I think it looks beautiful now. So I just want to add to it. Yeah. And I think that's the best thing that you can do. Yeah. It's always just, like, amplifying yourself. Right. I mean, that's why I liked Darian Lake's look. Even though, yeah. like we said, it was a Santi Alley dress. She took what she had from before and really elevated it to now. So... You know, I, I would want to do a similar idea. Yeah. Well, before we take a break, we want to remind you all that we love reading your emails and hearing your voicemails. That's right. You can email us at laganjoes. That's L-A-G-A-N-J-O-E-S at gmail.com. And you can leave us a voicemail at 805-624-5402. I know for Joseph and I, that was part of our favorite part of season one of Queening Out was hearing yes. from you, answering your questions. So please hit up our telephone number, email us your questions. We want to talk to all of you. And you know what? We love playing them. We love we do. answering your questions. We so want to hear your beautiful voices. We want to hear them, even if your voice is not the best. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take a break and we'll be right back. We are back. It's Queening Out. I'm here with Miss Laganja Estranja. Yes, God, and I got my boy Joseph Shepard. Ooh. We just went over the entrance looks for episode one of yes. All Stars 8. And there were so many looks this episode that I literally was like, you know what? Let's get into this main challenge okay. first. And then we'll go back to this fashion runway. Okay. Get ready for what I have to say about this main challenge. I have a lot to say challenge. about this main challenge. <laughs> so the main challenge was the girls had to be put into two separate groups. Shocking. And one has a disco version. Shocking. One has a glam rock version. Shocking. Of a song from the executive producers of RuPaul's Drag Race years ago. Now that part I liked. That yeah. part was fun for me. What were they called? The cockatoos? They were called the, the uh, I have it here. They the were squirrels? Pop tarts. The pop tarts. The pop tarts. I died. I didn't know I that like, Randy and Fitton did that back yeah. then. So that was that was that was cool to me. But this challenge, girl, how many times have we seen someone does the rock and someone does the pop? Someone does yeah. the rock and someone does the country. I'm like, we gotta. Re I mean, can we please refresh these challenges? Also, it's the same. Why is this the the premiere episode and we're doing a girl group challenge in the first thing? It's kind of like not what I wanted to see. Okay, right. You wanted them to battle each other. Yeah. Like either. Isn't it usually a talent show? It's normally a talent show. Right. But I think that they're saving that to the end, which hmm. interesting. I don't know why? I would rather a talent show for the first. I'm sorry. I agree. Kind of like I agree. Now, especially that you've pointed that out, it's like right. Why would you give us a group challenge? Like we want to see them all individually and continue yeah. to get to know their characters in case we missed their season. Yeah. I mean, not that I ever miss a season of Drag Race, but. Look, I'm just always watching. <laughs> <laughs> so the two groups that we had were the Fame Tarts, and yes. they did the Glam Mix, and that was Alexis Michelle, Darian Lake, Heidi in Closet, Kahana Montrese, Candy Muse, and Nasha Lopez. And the Disco Mix was done by the Glitter Chicks, which was James Mansfield, Jessica Wilde, Jimbo, Lala Ree, Monica Beverly Hills, and Miss Kasha Davis. Um, so we have 12 girls total? We have 12 girls total. Okay. So... This was this was my issue with this. 
I don't know if the sync was off. I don't know if the audio was messed up. But I literally went on to my iTunes, found the songs on there, turned my TV down, Stop. and played the song to go along with it because I felt like the audio levels were whack. Come on, technology. I had to because I wanted to know. Not I live editing as you're watching. I had to. And then I even put the subtitles on because I couldn't understand what some of these girls were yeah. saying. And the subtitles, a lot of them were inaudible. Oh. It was like inaudible. And I was like, that's what we're working with. Yeah. Yeah. Even the subtitle people did not know what, no, they, were what they were saying. No, what they were saying. <laughs> yeah, you know, this is where um, my eyes started to close, I will yeah. admit. And it was a long day. I was at DragCon all day yesterday, so give me a little break. But it it just didn't hold my interest. Yeah, I, I didn't no. think either group was that spectacular. I mean, I'll be honest. Kahana was the one who stood out to me. Yeah. She looked amazing. She was giving the hair. She really definitely kept my attention. But overall, I just found the challenge to be very meh. I couldn't agree with you more. Yeah. It not was, a great opener. Uh, no. And I watched it two times to make sure that I right, wasn't crazy. Right, to sync all this. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, that's how I know I was tired because I didn't even notice the sync was off. And then my dad texted me too last night and he was like, oh, watching Drag Race. Do you think the sync was off in this? No way, yeah. really? Okay, now I'm curious and I have to go back and watch that to see. Because I kept seeing people's mouths also not moving with the words and I was wondering in my head like, did they just not know the words? Right. And then literally I was like, how can every single one of them be off? Yeah. It doesn't make sense. I just don't even remember much about the choreography, and that's usually what I'm always able to comment on, too. It was like, too. money. I thought Jessica Wilde's group did better with the choreo. Jessica Wilde was the second group or first group? <laughs> Jessica Wilde was, oh, yeah, I, the second group. I, I just remember when she was teaching, I was like, oh, well, that looks more syncopated, and it looks a little harder, and then they cut to all the girls being like, girl, it's too much. And I'm like, really, a one-two head is too much? Yeah. Can you imagine if I was on the show, well, this and they were like, what, this is a choreography challenge. Girl, those girls would hate me. Would you want to choreograph? Well, you know, I always think you set yourself up, right? Mm -hmm. When you do the thing, they like expect you to do, to do good. But I also think like there's no way if I was in a group that I wouldn't be choreographing. Like everyone would be like, you have to do it. Yeah. But then, like I said, I would start and they would be like, this is too hard. And I'd be like, well, that's why we're practicing after this one hour that we're on camera is over. Because, yeah, I'm not going to choreograph some little baby one, two steps because all are all bad dancers. No, I'm going to make you good. Did you have dance challenges in your... Oh, you don't remember? Which one was it? Girl, Miss Adore read me the house down. She said, 90s isn't like this. It's, it's supposed to be like, yeah, motherfucker, yeah. Oh, yeah, she oh. read me. She read me. Yeah. How, how long? Okay, so if you, if the, so if the girls are there and yeah. they learn whatever the choreography is for that hour, 30 minutes, whatever time they have that's being recorded. Right. How much time do they have after that? Can they go home? Like, do so you go to I the think hotel? it just depends. Right. No, we were not able to rehearse in the hotel. But like from what I remember and girl, we're it's a lot of smoke, a lot of a lot of clouds of smoke. I got to clear through to remember <laughs> over a decade ago, almost a decade ago. We filmed in 2013. We're in 2023. Yeah, a decade ago. <laughs> so uh, well, I don't want to age myself and make myself older because it really didn't come out to the 2014. But we filmed in, in 13. So anyways. Uh, if I remember correctly, like I said, we had an hour on stage mm -hmm. to space and do everything, but we'd also had like an hour or two in the workroom prior to going to stage. And then if I remember correctly, we had the rest of the day to work in the workroom with no cameras on the choreo. So we probably had a total of five, six hours. Okay. That makes so sense. So not a lot, yeah. not a lot, especially for people who are not used to learning choreography. Um, but it was interesting because I remember when we did the Rusical, that was like a two to three day challenge, meaning we had several days because there was so much material and choreography that we had to learn. So I think they're pretty good about giving you time to practice yeah. if you really need it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, I mean, like, I was thinking the whole time I was like, mm, I don't know how I would do. I would be probably James Mansfield. Or really? How have we never done dancing? That's We I used... have. You know what? We need to put a camera out. Well, we That'll need to do our... a TikTok thing. Yes. I, I do another show with my friend Adam Ill, and that's like part, we're he's a cannabis influencer, so we call them TikToks. And <laughs> I've really taught him to dance through doing these TikToks. It's crazy. So I'm like, maybe we need to think about that. Y'all make some noise in the comments below if you want to yes. see me teach Joseph how to dance, how to chasse away. Maybe one segment will be like a field trip. Oh, and then we just like put in a little taped piece. I love that. I love that love too. That. 
So um, we had our two groups. Did you have any thoughts, opinions? I know we kind of talked, but like, was there any that you... I, like I said, I thought both group both groups were middle of the road. I didn't feel like either one was spectacular. Like I said, the only person truly to me that stuck out was Kahana. So that's why I was so grateful to see in the end that she got the praise that she deserved. Yeah. Well, we're going to take a break. Okay. And when we get back, we're going to get into... All of these looks, all 974 of them. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back, back, back again with another episode of Queening Out. Ooh, ooh. And it's time for this runway. Ooh. So the way they did it, they did a mini challenge, which was basically two looks. <laughs> you imagine <laughs> you walk into the workroom and they're like, okay, ready to give away two looks? Here we go. <laughs> I can't even imagine how many looks they brought with them. Of course. There must be so many. Well, see, what I always wonder, too, is that at the end of the episode when the girls eliminated. Yeah. And they walk into the workroom, whatever, they read their letters, they pack up their stuff. There's a lot more stuff that they're packing up, right? You know, it just depends. Again, back in my season, we took everything out. Like, we were told to take everything out and hang everything up. So, mm -hmm. yes, we had to repack everything back in. I'm so OCD that when I would wear something, I would pack it away so that I was like, but that's just how I am. I do that even with my normal suitcase when I travel. So, but a lot of girls know girls like they're, they're drag queens. So it was a mess. It was all over the place. And you know, because I'm always like, oh, you're just taking out two suitcases. Oh, no, I'm no, like, no, 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 there has to be more. Yeah. And on my season, we were each allowed six bins, like those big bins, uh -huh. because like we all had to be fair for those who had to fly. And that's all they would pay for those people who were flying with six spins. So that was why well, some of us were a little um, mad because Courtney Axe giant wings did not fit into one of those boxes. <gasps> oh, Not to throw shade at Courtney, but insert rattlesnake. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the looks that we had from this mini challenge were famous then. How famous then? Famous now and famous. <laughs> Famous in the future, which is your signature. Right. I was going to say, drag basically or, signature drag, yeah. but they just pretended it was something to do with famous. Yeah. And I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, first up, we had Alexis Michelle. Loved. Loved. It's a total wear at. I think it's gorgeous. It's giving me Norma Desmond. Oh. I love the smoky eye makeup. I mean, it's got a great texture to it. She looked great. And then the future from the now, obviously with the Kim Kardashian. Yes. Now that ponytail was a little crushed. Mm. I'm not going to lie. The ponytail in the back was a little shaky, but it was cool. And we never expected this look from her. No. So I thought that was great. And then the final look, I mean, it's very simple. So there was maybe I was wanting a little bit more, but she looks so gorgeous. It's giving me Jessica Rabbit. It's a classic shape. I love the crushed velvet. I love the color choice. I, I mean, she looks beautiful. I will say I absolutely loved the first look. I think that she looks gorgeous and stunning. Her last look... While it was simple, I think that she looks the best that she's looked. Like, that yeah. makeup is flawless. The hair is flawless. I love that crushed velvet. For the um, drag or the famous now look, I get what she was doing because of the Kim Kardashian thing. But I'm wondering if some people were given different prompts than others. Hmm. Because some took it very literally as in, like, a famous now look. Like, this is very literal. Right. And then some other ones took it as, like, going outside the box a little bit sure. more. And did you like those looks more? Is that what yes. you're saying? Oh, okay. I liked them a little bit more that they weren't just like a replica. Okay. Yeah. And I like a replica moment. I mean, yesterday yeah. I was wearing the Taylor Swift crystal dress. So I, I love a replica moment. I think if the replica is good and iconic, then there's no problem in recreating it. But I hear you. Maybe it's not necessarily as creative as some of the other girls were. Yeah. But she executed it well. And again, the body, well. the body, the body, the body, the body. The body looked great. Wow. Wow. I would wear them all. I would too. I really would. Miss Darian Lake. Okay. Uh, these were a lot of choices. <laughs> um, <laughs> Not hashtag Tatiana choices. Yes. This this first Renaissance look that was like drag now. I mean, drag. I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying anymore. I'm Laganja. Drag. For, <laughs> hey. <laughs> just, just give me um, a break. The, the famous then look. It's a no. Who, who was wearing this? Someone who's going to Scarborough Fair. Yeah, and yeah, to eat a turkey leg. Uh, yeah, she and she said that. <laughs> yeah, it was a no for me. I didn't love the first look either. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You mm -mm. mean the second look? 
I loved the second one. Did you? I did. I was. It was so unexpected. Yes, I will give. You I mean, that, come yes. on, Darian Lake as a Billy eyelash. I died. I died. I thought it was great, and you know, they were all like, "Oh, it's not elevated enough. It's a T-shirt." I'm like, but if in my mind we were doing replicas because mm -hmm. like Michelle was first, or I mean. Alexis was first and so I felt like yeah this was a replica and she was doing it well and I liked the gold chain and I loved the hair and I liked it yeah I thought it was cool but you did not I wasn't the biggest fan of it because I okay. like I said like I was I don't not really a fan of replicas yeah but this is something so unexpected for right. her and she did push and went out of the box yeah so I gotta give the props there yeah props and to you mama props to you and then I also have to give her props for this Leopard look. love. Oh my gosh, she looks gorgeous. Gorgeous. The I love liquid the sequin. Sequins. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so good. Wear the it. hair is perfect. I love the lip color choice. It's a total wear up. God, she looks so good. Yeah. Next up, Miss Heidi in closet. Um, the baby doll look I thought was very funny. Love it, and I love the mask on the yes. face. It did get executed better on Instagram, so I just want to encourage mm -hmm. people to go check out the Instagram version of this. The makeup was even cooler. It had more detail. The cracks really looked more realistic, but I, I loved it. I think it's so cool, and of course, the color choice. If it ain't green, honey. If it ain't green. You don't know my quote? No, I know your quote. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can't remember it? <laughs> So you don't know my quote. Wow. <laughs> this is the second green, time this has ever happened to me. If it ain't green. I ain't. I ain't wearing it. Close. I ain't eating it. Close? Not close. If it ain't green. I, I ain't. Bum, bum, bum. Interested. There we go. <laughs> if it ain't green. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I love when my co-host is my number one fan. Thank you so much. I am because I'm always in the car. I sent you a picture the other day when I was in the car. What were you doing in the car? It was it was your song. Oh yes. I don't remember this. See, it's fine. So we both don't remember things. <laughs> yeah, because you don't want to look at me, look at me, look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Available on iTunes. <laughs> Ding. Um, the second look that Heidi did, I thought was gorgeous. Amazing. I love the reference. Chloe Bailey, yep. so fierce. I totally got it right away. The hair with the uh, Bantu. Is that what they're called? Bantu knots? Is that what it is? I think I'm close, but I think I might be off a little bit. We'll put the Bandu. little line somewhere. It's, it's something like this, but I love the knots. Super, super cool. Love this big bow back piece. Yes. Super beautiful. And then the high, high leg. Yeah, I thought she killed it. And then this last look. That I was, loved. I absolutely loved. I it's, love the it's reference a wear to it, it across. What's wear the reference? Across the board. Her last look. Yeah. Uh, Chris Tucker and um, I don't know what movie it is. Chris Tucker. Yeah. That's a man. Yeah. She he was bit, in drag. No, she did the fem or the. Oh, Chris she did the female Tucker. version of Chris Tucker. Leopard. Is it Chris? It better be Chris Tucker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's um. <laughs> does it say? It looks like Baps. But okay, work queen. Yeah, I loved it. I just think she looks so good. Again, shout out to the Instagram version of this. Super, super cool. I'm a big fan of like the Instagram version because yes. you always get to see how the queen like wants, wants you, to see, you it. to see it. Yeah. But yeah, across the board, it's a total wear it. She nailed all Sick. of this. I also want to say shout out to at drag.looks for um, having these pictures already ready for me so I didn't have to screenshot them all. Yay! <laughs> We love you for that. Drag looks. Drag dot look. Drag dot looks. Thank you. We and appreciate. And see, they put them all like it's perfect. One we get one. a close up and a far and, away. Yes. God love them. Oh, keep them coming for us. They're about to be looks. on every review show. <laughs> Work drag dot looks. Um, Kahana Montrese came out, and I absolutely loved every single one of these looks. This little Nas look. The ending look. Are you kidding look. me? I thought she looked insane. And like what Michelle said, like if I had a body like that, I'd wear this every day to the grocery store. Yeah. yeah. The little Nas perfection. Ugh. So good. I mean, literally. And I'm a Versace queen. So very good job there. And then that first look. I mean, look at that blonde stunning. hair. Stunning. Woo. She's good. She's coming She's in. She's one to She's watch. She's coming in. One to watch for, for sure. Mm. Wear it all across the board. Yeah, wear it, wear it, wear it. Miss Candy Muse comes out in the first look with a tribute to RuPaul. Right. I didn't love. I didn't love either. I didn't love, but I don't think I love the original look either from I, Ru. Yeah. Sorry. Well, that's okay. The hair is just so hard and crunchy. I mean, mm -hmm. I know that's the vibe, but 
mm, I didn't like it. And you know how I feel about drag pageantry necklaces with mm-hmm. fashion. Not my vibe. Second look, I also was not a fan of. No, me either. Because one, I don't know if it was on purpose or intentional, but she always held that side of the coach. She never let it go. So I don't know if something happened on, you know, that she didn't want to show. Also, you're helping me out here because you always told me your hair needs to be bigger. And that hair is too flat. Is it? For this outfit. I think you know what it is. It should have been an updo. Yes. Like the one that she wore to enter. I think that would have really set this off. But I love the hair color choice. Yes. Because it kind of goes with the sunsetty fur. But yeah, I didn't love the look. I didn't love the look. Her makeup looks great across all, but she does. The makeup is sitting. And then the last look, I will say that I liked, but the back of it, when she turned around, the underwear part looked kind of like a baggy poopy diaper. Not the diapies. Oh yeah. my gosh. But besides that, I, I love this one. So Yeah, I like the last look. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say I love it. I'd wear it for sure. So it is a wear it. But uh, yeah, overall, I'm like, okay, Miss Candy. Like, I, I was expecting a little bit more. You know, she's a, she's a heavy hitter. She's got a lot to say. So I was expecting a little bit more on the look area. But I do love the body shape. I yeah. love when she gives us her legs. Her legs are like powerhouses. They're so beautiful, so strong, so long, so lean. So I do I do like that aspect of it. I also liked how it was like a holographic material. Mm-hmm. And I also liked how there was the rhinestone detail on the outfit and in the hair. So I thought the hair was like super matching the look. So yeah, I like I like it. I just, I don't know that I'm like in love. It's the most amazing thing like Kahana, you know? I agree. Meh. <laughs> Next up, Miss Le- Miss Lacia Lopez, Miss Nacia Lopez. Um, go for Tapatio, not Tapatio. Um, <laughs> the first look. God, I will now I say, want a burrito. That I sounds was, so good. Ooh, a burrito. I know. Oh my gosh. You know, I love Chipotle. It's oh, a classic. Gosh. I can never go wrong with Chipotle. So but I usually eat their hot sauce, and so like Tapatio, I like I wouldn't use it on a Chipotle burrito. So I would say like. Who makes a good burrito? You know, I like just like a regular burrito from anywhere. I'm not like super picky. If you put tapatio on anything, I'm obsessed. So Sometimes like a breakfast. Bur- oh, I love tahini too. I love a breakfast burrito. A breakfast burrito, like eggs and bacon Ooh, and yes. sausage. And then, girl, they would think I'm high today. We talk. We just randomly start talking about burritos, <laughs> but I'm not high today. I don't know what's happening. I love that we're talking about burritos when Nasha Lopez is here, but it has nothing to do <laughs> with like her at all. It's just like she's not giving us. There's burrito. no look that no. looks like a burrito. <laughs> But you said tapa tapa ta when yeah, you were saying her true. name, that's so true. it took me there. I just ran with it. Um, the first look I was not a fan of because girl, I the thought pearl it was too necklace, big. mama. What she's like? I'm dripped in pearls. I'm like you have three strands. Yes. Like that's why when you say like maybe she wasn't as prepared and she got added last mm-hmm. minute, I'm like I can see that because like yeah. I have a pearl necklace at home that would have been perfect with this. That literally cost me ten dollars. Mm-hmm. So it's not like it needed to be the most expensive pearl necklace ever, but it just. When she said Chanel, I was like, oh, right, the tweed suit. Like, But I didn't get that right away when she came I didn't out. Either. I was a little confused. I was I like, was. who is this? Like, is this Judy Garland? Like, I didn't I didn't know what we were referencing I exactly. I thought she was about to go on like a ship. Like yeah, a yeah, sail yeah. ship. Totally. Like, yeah. No, so again, idea, their execution, a little underwhelming. Mm-hmm. Uh, she, her, her now look was Donatella Versace. I loved it. I, I loved it. I think it's hair. gorgeous. I would totally wear it. Uh, you know, anything that's for sace or faux sace, mm-hmm. I'm all about it. So, yeah, I love this. This is a wear it for me. And ever since I was little, like when I saw girls or women with hair that was that flat and straight, mm-hmm. it was just like the biggest like <gasps> yeah. to me. So like anytime I see it, I no one does it as well as taste. I'm just going to oh say that. Oh, my God. I met her yesterday at DragCon for the first time. She's so sweet. So sweet. I was shocked. I thought really? she was like, yeah, she cut, you know, her personality like on the show and stuff. It gives me very like bitchy. I'm fierce mm-hmm. vibes, but she's like so nice. She came up to me and was so real. And I was like, I need to add her on Instagram. Yes. Like, I like you, bitch. Yeah. But yeah, she has the best flat long hair. Oh. So good. Oh. 40 inches. 40 inches. Not or to more. be confused with somebody else's not 40 <laughs> inches. Um, and the last look. Uh, no. No. Ice skating. Princess, like I don't know, it was just a great shape, a love a shoulder, uh, a high shoulder, but it's just not. Also, if it's a signature, that's look, your that's right. Not that's what your I signature drag. Like I feel like you're so Wamana, and this is giving me like costume. I don't know. Yeah, didn't love James Mansfield. 
I love the tribute to her Mexican heritage. Love. I thought that she looked gorgeous. I also love the little comedy of her pulling and doing little tassels. Love. Total wear it. Um, 100%. The Jojo Siwa, I got it, understood it. It's James Mansfield, not your favorite. Not my favorite. No, not my favorite. You know, because this was also supposed to be like drag of the future, and mm -hmm. I feel like this is very drag of the now. I see a lot of girls wear this outfit. A lot of girls wear this sort of dolls kill holographic mm -hmm. corsetry. And yeah, it wasn't giving me Jojo Siwa. If they had not told me it was Jojo Siwa, I wouldn't, wouldn't have known. Same. So I, I don't know. For me, it was it was a, a tear it. Tear it for me. Um, and the last look, what do we think of that? It's kind of like her entrance look. It's mm -hmm. good. It's classic her. I like it. But it's not anything overtly like, wow, that's amazing. Like. I I, and it all kind of blended together with the color. Like I, I wish like the fur details had been hot pink or there was a pattern or I don't know. It just, it was a little underwhelming to me. Yeah. And I, for some reason the makeup didn't go, didn't work for me with that outfit. Why? Cause I thought her eyes were too dark, too dark. Okay. I don't know. I mean, maybe because she has like a bronze necklace on, a gold Ooh. bronze on the eye would have been like lighter, Ooh. more like champagne pretty. But then I think she would have looked so washed out. True. So I kind of like that there's something rooting her in the face. And I do love the hair. It's kind of giving me Mars yes. attack, which is fun. Um, but yeah, I just overall, it was, it was good. It was good. It was good. You look good. Good. Um, Jessica Wilde, do we think she looks good? I do. Yes. Yeah, I really do. I loved her Nefertiti. Yes. So good. Nefertiti. Nefertiti. It looks super cool. Looks super well done. I really love the metallicness of this outfit. And I love this giant snake on her forehead. I think that's super cool. I think she nailed the look from the past. Oh, yes. I loved it. I also loved her bad bunny look. So good. The hair was so yes. cool. There's, no, this is a flat hair that really worked. Yep. Yeah. Loved everything about that. And then her last look, she gave me very Storm, like X-Men, like with the, that's what I was getting. Okay. Um, the but, last look for me is my least favorite of the three. Correct. Um, when she said that her signature is rock, I was like, really? I always think of Jessica in like fringe and like very like Latin and sp like Spanish vibes. So I was a little shocked to hear her say that like she thinks of herself as a rocker. But I thought it was cool. I really liked how this like jacket matched the leotard. So it was almost like this like one suit illusion. I think that's really cool. I love the high boot with the chains. I, I mean, I think, again, she executed it really well. It's yeah. just not what I would have pictured for her signature for drag. But she is the artist and she knows what is her signature. So I would have loved if she would have come out in an updated chicken outfit. Oh, my God. That would have been iconic. <laughs> that would have been iconic. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we had Jimbo. Uh, Let me just tell you, this first look. All three. All three are so iconic. Like, so iconic. Just the aspect of having the dress go look up. Look like, like it's like, already blown up. Incredible. Uh, whoever thought of that, good on you. Yeah, she looks incredible. So cool. The thumb hair, I thought, was... Unbelievable. Like, who is the artist that made that? Yeah. You deserve an Oscar for your hair alone. That is so creative and so bizarre. I love that Jimbo always has a weirdo twist to mm -hmm. it. That's what makes it so interesting to me. I will say I am never a fan of words on outfits. Me too. Usually me either. I'm with you. I hate like, what do they call them? Like the tees that say stuff. Graphic tees? Yeah, graphic yeah. tees. That like used to be such a big thing back in the early 2000s. I never liked it. But this worked to me with the yeah. look because it's all about social media. If anything, I wish she had had more. Ye like more kind of like, like layered a subscribe over it. and this just and that, all yeah, of it all, all over yeah. but again i think she was trying to go for that like sexy see-through vibe and i think on the back she had another word right i think it said followers yeah yeah so i i just conceptually genius oh. genius and this last one this hair the brain hair one of my favorite looks on drag race history so insane insane it's giving me jeremy scott adidas yes. come to life like when they were like, she got her brains fucked out. I was like, I'm yeah. dying. I'm dying. So the brain on the ass. I mean, it was just, it's so well done. So, so well, well done. done. And I love oh. that it also was kind of like a 3DS. Like things yes. were like popping out. The and giant eyelashes. Yes. It was honestly, personally for me, my favorite look of the whole episode. I agree with you there. It was that amazing. Was, it was just amazing. It's killer. She killed it. I'd wear them all. Yeah, I would too. 
Jimbo, I'm gonna ask you for that wig. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Miss Lala Ree, I will say I absolutely loved her famous uh, Gorgeous. past look. Yeah. Gorgeous. That Gorgeous. fabric, oh, she looks stunning. She does. Second look to come right after Jimbo's look. Exactly. It's like. It, it didn't meet the same standard as Jimbo's and it was a similar concept. I do love the concept. Mm -hmm. I love that she's naked. I agreed with the judges where the letters the could letters, have been yeah. more finessed. Um, and I also think like it looks better from far away mm -hmm. than up close. Mm -hmm. um, here is an example where I thought the hair was a little underwhelming. If you're mm -hmm. gonna go with such a simple look, I thought a more classic RuPaul updo would have really elevated the look. Um, so yeah, I, I have to agree. I think the middle look was a tear it. Yeah, same. The last look I loved though, love. I, I thought that she took that bodysuit, you know, she was like, you know, I'm known for my bodysuits, but this is like a half bodysuit, half loved. something fashionable, loved it. Loved the color choice, I loved the hair, I thought that was really fun with the little space buns. Yeah, I, I thought the last look was great too. Next up we had Miss Monica Beverly Hills. I will say the Cleopatra look, I loved. Flawless. Flawless. I agree with you, I loved this look. You know, the judges were 100% correct. You could tell she was feeling her fantasy. Mm -hmm. She was so excited to wear this look. And from head to toe, it's perfection. I mean, yes. it really is. I love the headpiece, I love the bodysuit, I love the cape, so well done. So well done. Total wear it. Total wear it. Next up she had what she said was her Kim Petras look, which I didn't technically understand. At all. At all. No. Um, I did like the boots. I thought they were kind of cool. I didn't think the boots went with the outfit. They did it. I, I don't know. It, it left me wanting more. I'm like, maybe if she'd had a trench coat made out of the Fui, Fui Vuitton material, like that would have been cool. Wow, yeah. um, I think the boots should have been made out of the Fui Vuitton as well because I love the bag. Like, I think that's super cool. But to me, this look just didn't feel complete. It mm -hmm. didn't fully go there. And to me, when I think of Kim Petras, I think of pink. Yeah. So I thought that was like an odd choice. Like... Yeah, so no, not my favorite. Not my favorite. Mm -mm. And then the last look, also not, my, not favorite. my favorite. I know, and I hate this because she was one of the people that I was most excited to see, and I really wanted her to stay. I was so sad at the end of the episode. Um, I thought the actual outfit itself is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I would totally wear that outfit, but for your signature drag, it just felt a little like... Your show number, you mm -hmm. know, it, like didn't give me signature Monica Beverly Hills. And yeah. then the white shoe, I don't know where that color choice came in from. And then she had purple lips with the blue look. Mm -hmm. I, it was just a little like all over the all place. All over the place, yeah. 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 It was a tarot. But see, I would wear the actual outfit. I would totally wear that to dance in. Yeah. Have a blue fur coat, blue lips, amazing glasses. Like I would totally come out and dance my ass off in that outfit. I just wouldn't choose it for my signature look. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's a performance look. It's a great performance look. It just isn't signature. And just to be picky, the fringe isn't beaded fringe. It's like tassel fringe. Okay. And I just think beaded fringe is obviously, well, it is more expensive yeah. in real life. And it just looks better on stage. It shines more. So that, you know. Not to tear it apart, as I'm like, I'd wear it, but yeah. Tear it! Next up, we have Miss Kasha Davis. One, I'll tell say that that Lucille Ball look, I did like. Loved. Loved it. The look I from thought, the past, amazing. 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 The look from now, no. Not good. Not good. It's not giving me a look from now. They were like, is that Liza Minnelli? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, it, it is. is. Liza Minnelli from now? Yes. Like, I mean, I guess that's the now she was going for, but it just didn't feel current. It didn't feel updated. Uh, it was supposed to be Kris Jenner, right? Yes. And I'm like, Kris Jenner would never. No. She would never. No. And the short little wig, it, uh, like, what is up with RuPaul and the short little wig? That high one? It's like a short little wig that she's wearing in the little video Yeah, packages. the videos, but it's like, it's like a little bigger. I don't know. Yeah, I'm like, y'all, as someone who used to wear these short little wigs, we got to let them go. <laughs> until they make them better, <laughs> until they make them more elevated, they're just they're just giving to Pussycat. I mean, isn't that what yeah. Monet was known for yeah, wearing? Yeah, Pussycat wigs. You never see Monet on them any. You never see Monet in them anymore, and there's a reason for that because they don't look elevated, you know. True. So yeah, no, the middle look it was it was no a no for me. The last look does give me her signature drag. It does, but I will say that I wish that the hair was either a different. I don't know what it is. Like hmm. it just doesn't mesh. It, if I were to look at this, it all is like bland to me. I wanted something to stand out, and okay. there was nothing that was technically standing out. I think maybe because she did purple on purple on purple, mm -hmm. that's like kind of what you're talking about. Like maybe if the jacket, the see-through jacket had been pink, so it was like a pop of color, 
it could have worked a little bit better, but I like the last look. It is a wear it for me. I think it's cool. I love the shape. I love this like sort of, um, it's giving me very uh, Mardi Gras Australia mm -hmm. House of Priscilla headpiece. I love that the headpiece is fully glittered and stoned. Uh, yeah, I think she looks good. It's a wear it for me. Wear it. And then we have our judges. We're going to judge the judges this year? I mean, they're just there. We don't oh, okay. have to judge them, but um, no, we have our judges. Dina Menzel was the guest judge. Icon. I just got to work with her for the drag telethon. It was amazing. I didn't even meet her, but I, I get to say I worked with her because we were in the yeah. same vicinity of each other, right? How was it? How was the, the telethon? The drag telethon was amazing. I'll be honest. I had just flown in from opening up for Peaches, where I did my first ever live 35-minute set. So I was exhausted. I told them I'm coming in for an hour and I'm not going in drag. I went in full drag and stayed the whole time. So it was it was amazing. It was just so inspiring to talk to all the different buds from across the world. And so many people that I talked to on the phone were just like, oh, my God, I was hoping I'd get you, which maybe they would have told any queen. Yeah. But like but I really felt, believed yeah. them and like felt their energy. And the fact that we raised over half a million dollars in four and a half hours. Like that's crazy. It made me so happy. And it made me feel like I was doing something good with my time. And there was a reason that I was there. And honestly, my drag look was so killer. Mm -hmm. I got it all in Thailand. And so to be able to wear a new look and yeah, it was just so fun. Peaches was there again. So I got to see her. I got to meet Marsha Gay Harden, who is a, just an icon in herself. Um, so yeah, it was, a, it was a really cool event. I was very proud to be a part of that. Well, Miss Laganja, we're coming to the end of this episode. Oh my gosh, but it flew by. It flew by, but let's talk about our winner this week. We had Miss Kahana Montrese. She well deserved. Good five grand. Yes. And then. But wait, I thought she didn't. Because doesn't she lose oh, the lip you sync? Win, well, you technically win five grand for. Just for winning? Mm hmm. And then you get another five grand then if you, you do the lip sync? You get 10 grand if you win the lip sync. Yeah. Maybe I should go back on All Stars. Yeah, just kidding. Just kidding. Rack up the money. <laughs> no, totally kidding. Rack up the money. <laughs> um, so yeah, so she ends up winning. Then they also introduce the other way that people can right, win. Right, the fame game. The fame games, which is basically you can win $50,000. Um, if you're voted out, or you're eliminated. Yeah. They keep showing your looks on the runway, which I think is such a smart idea. So how idea. is that going to work? I was confused by that. You think they're going to like cut to pictures? Um, no, they actually had them. Somebody fell asleep last night. Oh, uh, <laughs> um, for Monica Beverly Hills, they added it to the end. So, like for the second episode, since Monica Beverly Hills was eliminated, uh -huh. they so she still she walks walked the, runway the runway in her look. In her look. Now that's cool. Right? Oh, I love that. I thought it was going to be like their Instagram photos that's or what anything I that they too, did. But no, it's the actual. They're actually walking the runway. That's cool. Yeah. Also, a lot of work for them. They're like, yes. great, I'm eliminated, but I still have to get you drag to and show see, this. Yeah. yeah. And then I was wondering, like, too, like. Do they just keep them still in the hotel and they make them do this at, when they're doing these of episodes? Course. Or is it they have like a day of her no. going in it? Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. They would definitely do the first one. Yeah. Wow. Um, our lip sync assassin was Aja. Loved it. I loved it. Freak him dress think by it Beyonce. Should've, think it should have been a double say. Or not a double say, but they both should have won and yeah. split the money. They were both so good. I mean, so Kahana good. was amazing. But I was happy to have Aja back and she to have so her. She looks so good. Of course. Yeah, she's on that HRT, baby. Ooh. It does the doll right. Oh, she looks so good. Yeah. That was such a good lip sync. So good. Great way Great to song end. choice. Yes. You know how sometimes they'd be questionable song choices. Mm, this was go. good. I'm glad we got the clearance from Miss B. Yes. Which, by the way, have you seen the um, TikToks and all that? Yes. Oh, my God. So good. I spent all my money on Missy Elliott, so I won't be seeing her tour, but it looks really It looks really good. We should, we should sneak in. Okay, um, let's do it. We'll do that. <laughs> So um, the bottom two were Darian Lake and Monica Beverly Hills. That's right. Monica Beverly Hills ended up um, sashaying away. Do you think that was the right choice? Was Darian really deserving to be in the bottom? Uh, I think Darian messed up over on her choreography. Oh, right, because we have taken the main challenge too. Yeah. I'm just thinking about all the looks. The looks, yeah. I mean, I didn't want either one of them to be in the bottom. Same. I'm excited for both of them. Same. I think it's just going to be hard this season because I, I do want to see a lot from so many of the girls. Um, so did they deserve it? I mean, I guess you're right. Darian didn't do great in the main challenge, but I thought Darian's looks were pretty good. I, like I said, I liked the Billy. I liked her final look. So yeah, I don't know. Jury's out. I'm not yeah. for sure if I've made up my mind if those two were the right two. But like I said, it, I think anyone who would have been in the bottom, I kind of would have been disappointed. I really wish that this first episode maybe wouldn't have been a non-elimination. Just yeah. for the fact of like, I do feel bad when it's all stars and the first time like, Somebody goes home first on All Stars. Well, the first especially episode. Monica. Wasn't yeah. she the the oldest contestant? Yeah. Not in age, but, but I mean but from it, season. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So that sucked. Yeah. I wanted to see more from her, but I'm glad to hear we're going to see her runway. So that's yeah. cool. And that, that's the dope part about this. Yeah. So, well, guys, it's time for What You Missed in Untucked, the last <laughs> portion of this, since Laganja Estranja never watches Untucked. Monica Beverly Hills yeah. is expressing how bad she wants this. Of and course. that she literally always goes back to drag in the end. Yeah. No matter what, she's going back to drag. She's crying. Alexis Michelle starts crying. I love that. And people are like, oh my gosh, why is she crying? I actually and heard about this. And she literally is like, the judges finally see me as how I see myself. And I'm like, this poor girl's crying because she's about to be eliminated and you got great praise on the runway and you make it about yourself. I wasn't sure how I'd be received here. <laughs> and I hoped that it would be well. I love Great it. Great television. I love it. <laughs> this is her moment. I love it. Yeah, we were talking about this in the van yesterday on the way back from DragCon and they were spilling the tea. Um, and I was just like, whatever, y'all, I live. You better cry and make it your moment. That's good. So funny. But I guess it didn't come off good for her. It didn't People come are off. judging her yeah, for it. She, uh, she's coming off as, but she she was the original Lucy LaDuca. <laughs> like, in her I thought season, I was the original Lucy LaDuca. <laughs> Because I definitely <laughs> lost it on my, I cried every Untucked. So that's why I'm a fan of anyone who cries on Untucked. It's I'm like, you better so work, good. queen. Yeah. Get that camera time. Get that camera time. Yeah. And it was a But moment. I hear you. Maybe it was a little insensitive yeah. to Monica's to... beautiful story. Right. But that's all we have today for Queening Out. Love it. Yay! It's so good to be back. So good to be back. Yes. I'm so excited to have you here. Our little new setup that we Love have. Love it. Um, we have new episodes every Monday. Ooh, Ooh, I love that. I thought we were doing Tuesdays. We were, but then I said, you know what? We got to get those episodes out sometimes a little bit early. Love sometimes it. they may come out Tuesday depending Help. on our schedules. <laughs> you know. Yeah. But if we can get it done on Monday, it'll be out on Monday. Period. Period. Um, where can everybody find us in the socials? You can find me at Laganja Astranja across all the platforms except for TikTok where I am the only Laganja Astranja. And be sure to check out my website, LaGanjaAstranja.com and of course Thursdays on my YouTube channel where I upload a day in the life of vlog at 420 Easter Standard Time. Ooh, ooh. And you can follow me at Joseph A. Shepherd on everything. Also, my show Exposed, we are doing um, a Kickstarter for that. So make sure to click that little link down below and be sure to like us, subscribe, do all of that good stuff down below, do a Jimbo hair <laughs> um, and rate us and review us on your favorite podcast app. Please. Do that. We appreciate all of it. And don't forget to leave us a voicemail or email us at laganjoes at gmail.com. We want to hear from you. We want to hear from you. So until next time, I'm Joseph Shepard. I'm Laganja Strancha. Thanks for tuning in to Queening Out! Now we're getting into the... Bitch, I look sickening.